Unreal Engine. Nice. From CI Games. After eons of tyranny, the demon god Adir was finally overthrown. Fear of his terrible power endured. And so was formed the hallowed Sentinels. Our duty being to stand vigil for signs of his return. Even exile to another realm could not silence the fallen god forever. And in time, Adir's malignant influence pervaded the world once more. In his hunger for vengeance, Adir orchestrated the return of his demonic army. Light was swallowed by shadow. And with it, hope. A new, grim champion arises. The Dark Crusader. And perhaps it will indeed come to pass that only they who shun the light in order to fight the darkness possess the power to defy a god. Wow, that looks incredible. Mash any button. Okay, time to adjust the brightness. We will go to the settings. So we're going to run 1080p. Uh, we can run NVIDIA DLSS. Frame rate generation. Put it on ultra settings for everything. Okay, we're definitely good there. New game. Age past, distorting self delusion into faith, with few obtaining the revelations they so desperately seek. In a conflict between the divine and mortals' mere pawns. Whether the flesh of gods or death itself. That background noise is the game, it's not an air conditioner. Whether the flesh of gods or death itself, all will be consumed. For she must feed. Forgive me. I'd steer this weapon of deliverance to a worthier servant than I. Never 
just the metal for this crusader. You fail. Wow. Is that the life force? Hmm. Man, what they did to him was dirty. Hallowed Knight. Her Drains Warwolf. Partisan. Mornsteed Infantry. Black Feather Ranger. Exiled Stalker. Orion Preacher. Pirate Cultist. And the Condemned. I'm leaning more towards the Orion Preacher. A wandering preacher whose unshakable faith in the divine will of Aureus guides away while they spread his holy light. A physically vulnerable class reliant on radiance, whether for protection or searing their sinful flesh off heretics. Sounds good to me. I'll take it. More muscular. He looks very obese. That's better. Name change. Mike Z Gamer, of course. There's only one. Law, the latest receiver of his grace. Great potential dwells within you, doubtless, for you to be chosen thusly. And so does Aureus' wisdom guide my hand in the bestowment of this subsequent boon. Your flesh has been made sacrosanct with the mark of the Dark Crusaders. Prove yourself worthy of this gift. Seek me in the bowels of the bridge. Our work is of the greatest import. Okay. The graphics look pretty good. I'll give them like around eight and a half out of ten right now. CGI looks very smooth and very crisp. Very well rendered. Not bad, considering... Frame rates right now are a little bit laggy. I'm a little bit worried right now. Okay, it was just a. No, it's fine. Okay, so we're using mouse and keyboard for this game. And we'll start investigating through this uh, cavern, shall we? First enemy, let's take him down. Definitely uh, Dark Souls kind of vibes, which I don't mind because that game is lush. Lush means it's great. Okay, so to lock into targets, switch between targets Z and X. Okay. Double check. Where are we going? This way? Can I get through? Okay, that's fine. Just gonna go around a little bit. Like this one little- oh! Shh, my bad. Actually had to uh, jump there, huh?
While sprinting with V. Press F. Okay, so controls wise, it's a little tricky on the keyboard. Uh, it just takes a little bit of time. Yeah, so it, it really does. Um, this is. It really overcomplicated the jumping. Spacebar would have been great, but they have roll for spacebar. So this really does mess it up. <clears throat> okay, there we go. So just F, you don't have to use V. Not sure who said that, but that's not true. Okay, so lock on is. Okay, got it? Locked on. Alright. All right. There's a special move. Wires is pretty good. Audio is nice. Okay, select umbral lamp with one and raise it with control. Okay, so that's hard to, to do. That. Okay. Basically activate with R, yeah? Got it? Revive, heal. Yep. Okay. So one. I'm not a fan of the controls, to be honest with you. Maybe the controllers are a bit easier to use, so we'll try that. Yeah, I'm trying the controller next. Let's see if it's a little bit easier on controller to do all this. All of this. Greetings too much, just care more about jumping. Just be able to jump out of the, the swamp we're in. And we can't even bash this down. T and and rift by holding X to transition. Thing happening.
Yeah, I'm not liking these controls at all. Uh, this is a problem with the game, is they haven't simplified the controls to the point where it's easy to get out of situations like this if you're stuck. Uh, LT again. I don't care about the greetings, I care more about just the normal player of the game. We're actually kind of stuck here. Yeah, we're actually kind of stuck here. Um, we have to go back. Yeah, we're, so we're actually in the same place. Okay, so we finally figured it out to teleport. You just hold LT and press RT. Now the controller's not working. And we've already run into our first crash. We are sorry this crash occurred. Our goal is to prevent crashes. Uh, crash report here, crash report there. The actual game is pretty decent uh, for the most part. I just feel like this game, they need to really simplify and really just fix the controls a little bit easier and make the, the game so that if you fall into like a pit or you fall in somewhere that's kind of stuck, there's two options to get out. It's not just simply teleport. So you can actually hack your way through rocks or jump over rocks or find it easier for people to get out of sit tricky situations. Also, the crash report is not exactly confidence inspiring for most gamers, most casual people, most streamers, you know, most uh, content creators. So I think you really do need to fix these bugs in the game. There are bugs in this game, by the way, people. Uh, so just be careful of that and try not to get too frustrated and just have a fun time with the game if you can. All right, that's my uh, little gameplay review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed some of the short little clips and you're excited to continue playing some more of it. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next one.